Hello, everybody. It is February, the end of February, and I am super excited tonight. I'm back on speed dial. I'm really sorry I missed last week because I was stuck in Denver. Everybody knows all the crazy weather that was going on here in, in uh, Texas, but I'm super glad to be back on. And I've got my good friend, Mel, who I feel like I've known forever. I guess it's been, what, three years or so we've known each other? Four years? Yeah, three or four. Yeah, something yeah, like that. It's been a while. And, Been a and minute. He he is this guy is OG when it comes to uh, that's original gangster when it comes to RC stuff. He he was doing the doing the planes back in the day. And actually, Mel, I love I always love to tell people this story. It was such a cool experience. The first time I met you, you came to Austin. You were in the Flying Eagle Hilton, right? The big yep. truck with the sleeper yep. cab. And if you guys have never seen a picture of this truck, you got to go to channel uh, Mel's channel and check it out. He had this big eagle painted on the side. And I'm like, all right, who is this guy? I've never met him before. He wants to meet up, et cetera. I go there and I don't know if you remember this. This is what blew me away is, is I went inside your truck, which was like an apartment. I mean, it was, it was big, lots right. of room to walk around and you were 3d printing stuff right there in the truck. And I was like, that is <laughs> yeah. so cool. Yeah. That yeah. is so cool. And I think we, yeah, we I did, did uh, I did we did a lot some of that. videos that day, and and you printed some stuff for me for my Mavic Pro at the time. Um, are you still doing three D printing? I do. I mess around with it a little bit here and there, um, making some tablet adapters for the Mavic Air Two. Nice and nice. and the Mavic Mini Two controller because it's the same controller. So this yeah. locks onto the rods that pull out of the top of the controller, and then it goes against the top. Oh yeah, that yeah. little bracket, and then the tablet goes here, and then the tablet sits in the regular mount spot on top of the controller. The angle is just what it needs to be. Now, now, question about hold that back up for a second. Is the raw material for that? Because I know I hear a lot of people talk about TPU um, as a as a material. TPU is something yeah. that they make uh, like a lot of mounts with and stuff. Is that TPU yep. or is that something different? No, this is PLA. This is. This is hard. I'll sacrifice an uh, Osmo action camera here. This is. <laughs> Osmo action's tough. This is this is tough stuff. It's hard. The, so, the so only TPU is spot, softer, softer. Is that right? TPU is like a rubber filament. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I've, I've not printed with any of that. I've not had the need for it. But um, I did have Mitch print some stuff for me. For the for the boat that I'm building, I had him print me some boat bumpers. Oh, nice! Out of out of TPU, so so they're they're a little have, softer, a little more give. They're soft, like yeah, yeah, like like uh, uh, like rubber, like soft pliable rubber. The the only TPU mount I've ever gotten was for it. It works for a GoPro and for an Osmo Action, but it is. It is very pliable. Like it's almost it's almost like a rubber band, but it's stronger than that. And you stick it right. in. And what's cool about it is it's slightly angled back, but it has a little bit of give. So it feels like if you crashed or something, the camera wouldn't like the camera could could move if it had to, you know? It would it would give it a little bit of uh uh grace at the initial impact. But you know that speaking of that and mounting cameras on FPV quads, it cracks me up because I see guys on Twitter and YouTube and, and Instagram and stuff saying, Oh, my $495 million GoPro. I just busted the screen out of the front of it. Well, no shit, dipshit. You put it on a damn 80 mile an hour quad and it's going through the air. What do you think? I mean, come on. Right? That's, that's right. That's, that's, that's where... not me. I mean, I mounted this to the top of a little RC car and put it under the crawl space the other day, and I was scared to death the car would quit, and I wouldn't be able to get this back because I can't fit in the crawl space. You know? Hey, that's a. <laughs> were, were you looking at the app on your phone? Were you able to see? Yeah, yeah, I was see? using the 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 Wi-Fi connection on the phone, and and uh, actually, at Ken Heron's event that we were at, yeah, yeah, I the... won. I won a really cool, and I want to say really cool. Is this it? No. Wrong black case. I got too many cases. You know, <laughs> case for everything. But do you recognize that logo? Uh, no. What is it? Loom I can't cube. really see it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So oh, that's right. They sponsored it. This is the the dual set oh, with the yeah, yeah. with the uh, brackets that mount to the Mavic. Yeah. And then you can mount the loom cubes on the side of the Mavic. And but what I did is this this little toy, and it, it literally is a toy RC car, very low quality. Um I drilled holes in the top of it and I used regular GoPro camera mounts and screwed them right into the bottom of the light. So I put a loom cube on each side and I put the Osmo action in the middle and I had me a, a super tricked out, not so hot shot RC car. Almost, almost like a cop car with all the lights on front, you know, out of the car, well, long hair. Well, this is, this has got artificial um, road lights, you know, like big kibby lights or something on the front of yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. But they probably don't uh, light up, right? No, they just got reflective or silver yeah, decal yeah. on them. But uh, um, it, it did look kind of cool. I've got some video that's going to be coming out pretty soon with, with that. What did you discover under the house? You were talking about maybe having a water leak. Is that why you put it under Yeah, I, I, I do think there's a water leak, but I wasn't. The car was not able to perform as, as I hoped. Uh, Two-wheel drive, real light. Um, real hard to maneuver it because the steering isn't very good because the suspension is is toy grade. It's junk. It's yeah. Not, but this was a you car know. you found. Well, I understand you told I me earlier. I found it at the landfill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I basically, found two of them. This was this was a toy somebody had thrown away. You took it and you put your own uh, uh, receiver in it, and now you're I put you're, a receiver and put a receiver and a speed control in it, and now I'm driving it. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Does it have any suspension at all, or is it just fixed? It's it's it does have suspension, but it's not not coil, not oil filled shocks like a like a modern yeah, like a, more, like a more hobby expensive. hobby grade would be. Yeah. It's just a plastic plunger with a coil spring on it. Okay. So okay. yeah, but it is coil sprung. Man, there was a period of time when I was doing stuff with GearBest where they sent me a lot of RC cars. And I always really enjoyed doing RC car reviews because there you don't re – I mean, doing drone reviews takes a lot of work because you have to go somewhere to fly and, and uh, it's, sure. you know, someone's got someone's to follow it with a camera. you got to have the GoPro or the Osmo on your hat or whatever. But with cars, I mean, it's so much easier just to, to shoot that review – I had one, and this is when my son was a lot smaller. He's taller than me now, but at the time, he was about 10. Yeah, um, boy, you got to quit watering them weeds. You know? That's what <laughs> makes them grow. He sat on a skateboard, and that car, that car, it, it took a, I think it was a 3 or a 4S battery that was in it. It was a big old, I think it was a Traxxas was the name of it. And that thing pulled him down the road. Hey, yeah. and we, we even have a super chat from oh, River City. Thank you, Brad. Good wow. evening, everybody. Good to see everybody. Cool. Um, and and guys, um, really, thank you guys. Uh, I know last week I wasn't able to be on, but man, what a crazy week we had. You said that the Arkansas River froze near you in Fort yeah, Smith? Yeah, the Arkansas, Arkansas River froze over for the first time in since 83. Dang, dang. I actually saw it. So I was on Mel's show last week, and I was able to see uh, some footage of that. And it, it, looked, it looked really, really... Or no, wait. Um, that was the Arkansas River we were looking at, right? Yeah. Or yeah, no, that yeah, okay. That was yeah. It, I mean, just to think about that thing flowing and freezing at in eighty three. Now I was up in um, uh, Colorado, up in the same area. We had gone up. I had actually gone up and seen Sean two weeks ago, and all the flights got canceled coming home. So that was kind of part you, of my problem. You put yourself through a whole bunch of torture when all you really had to do was stayed home. You could have had well, all that fun right there. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. There was snow, there was ice, there was all that stuff here. Um, also, we were talking about 3D printing. Mel, uh, shortly after that time when I met yeah. him in the truck, he said, send me your logo and I'll, I'll make you, a, I'll make you a, a thing. And I, Man, I've used this as like a background during spin-up. I've, I've had it up there. You also made me a little small red one. Hey, Joe Blaylock. Thanks, man. Very much appreciate it. 1234. One, two, three, four. Joe's the man. Joe's the man. Joe's the man. We should say hi because there's uh, Michael Blade, Chris Hope, uh, Captain Ray Kelly's in there. Doc Murdoch is in there. Tex Arch Drone Guy, which is uh, Michael Wright, is in there. Um, I think I saw Sunrise Water Media earlier. 
Um, Joe yep. Blaylock, of yep. course. And of course, my brother Brad from Virginia. Uh, I don't know why I always have to say from Virginia. Eat more possum, Ben T. Um, yeah, very. That's awesome. Harley FPV, good to see you, man. <laughs> I'm glad you're. I'm glad you made it. Good to see you. I hope your FPV flying is going good. Art Co Drone Solutions is in the house. I think what must have happened is um, Greg's Greg's stream must have just ended because a whole bunch of people just popped in. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, you know, I, I learned a secret. You know, What's that? everybody's building the FPV quads, right? We're getting the frame and putting the stack on it and mounting the camera to it, putting the motors on it, right? And doing all that stuff. Yeah. And then they fly them and they crash them and they break them and they have to spend money to fix them. I have one. It's got a camera and everything ready to strap a battery to. It's tuned with... Uh, Beta flight, and it, it's ready to go. And you know how much this drone has cost me in repairs? Uh, zero? Zero. Because you've never crashed it? Because I've never flown it. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's the secret. There's the secret. Don't ever. I, I was saying earlier, this this little guy right here, this is the uh, Gep RC rocket. This is the one I brought. I think I even tried to chase your plane at, at uh, in Brownsville with this thing at Minefield. But man, this that, thing has been. Is that the one you used? Yeah, yeah. This thing has been crashed. Now I did get new. I put new props on it, and I put new uh, guards. I had to get some new guards and props for it because these things do crack. But actually, if you could three D print these, that would be pretty cool. Um, not you the props, actually, but just the guards. You could actually three D print the guards in TPU. Oh, so they'd have a little flex to them. Yeah. That's yeah. what a lot of people do with those cine whoops. I think the cine whoops tend to have more flex. By the way, I wanted to say thank you to Ben for the for the super chat just a moment ago. Very much appreciated. Um, and also, uh, I was going to say say to everybody, I had told Kai and Chris, uh, or, or yeah, Chris Waters earlier, Sunrise Water Media. Um, so our our hot water heater has been out here at the house. There's a few other things that have broken because of the storm. Uh, I was not going to be able to make it down, but it turns out that the folks that are coming to help me repair aren't coming till the afternoon. So I am going to make it down to the the meetup tomorrow. So I'm super excited about that. Mel, sometime you got to make it down to Texas and meet Kai and Chris and those guys um, because this place we fly at is one of the best places I've ever flown at. It's in New Braunfels, right around that area near Canyon Lake. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, you, you've been down I-35 many times, I'm sure. Oh. Yeah, I know Brumple's well and the truck stop there and yeah, all this, kinds of this, stuff. Yeah. This this place, what I like about it is it has uh it's right in the shadow of Canyon Lake, and so there's a dam there, and so it's kind of in a bit of a valley. So even if it's windy up above, you've got a nice little area where there's trees up above you. It's kind of in a bowl. Um now, apparently is that, the, is that the place where you guys normally go? Yeah, yeah. We've been going there since uh last well, there's there's a a parking area or some kind of road that's blacktop it's a big for a hey, considerable distance it's a very long road yeah um thank you art code drone solutions appreciate the hey, five dollar super chat um so it is it is a sports complex it's a whole bunch of different fields and there's a road that kind of winds through it now jerry um from the drone interest group came down a couple of times ago and he brought a little rc car I was chasing that RC car with a little tiny toothpick FPV quad that I have. It's it's really small, really lightweight, uh, 4S. And then Kai was uh, flying, that's Lone Star UAV, was flying the opposite yeah. direction. And we collided midair. And his his quad did not even come out of the air. It just kept on going. Hey, Ken Heron, thank you for the super chat. Hello. Hell's face yeah. nest is on point. <laughs> face nest. Actually. Yeah. I told Mel earlier he looks he he could he could go for the role of either Gandalf um, from from Lord of the Rings or um, Dumbledore. I think you could you could probably and Ken Heron's dropping gold on you too. Geez, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got the big smiley face. Twenty bucks, thank you, Ken. Really appreciate that. Oh, back you know, in the day with my long hair and everything, <laughs> it was uh, Adams was my nickname. Like as in Grizzly. Okay, I see. I know who Grizzly Adams is. 
you're old enough to know who he is. I'm Barely. old enough to know. Yeah. No, I, I, I watched I watched Grizzly Adams growing up. That was that was definitely one of those shows I really enjoyed. Um, anyway, I, I'm super excited because I do have to be back in the afternoon uh, to do this repair around the house, but I am going to be able to make it down tomorrow, and I'm really excited. That's cool. I, I think Doc Murdoch's actually it, in town, and he's going to be there too. I think you'd have a. I think it would be a great place that you'd have enough room for a runway for fixed wing. Oh, absolutely. Land. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. you know, you took off when we were in when we were in Brownsville, Tennessee at at Ken's minefield event. You took off in about fifteen feet. It seemed like it wasn't very far. Yeah, about, about twenty five feet or so. Yeah, didn't yeah, take that, much. That was that little high wing you were flying, and especially that plane. That plane takes off really quickly. I don't know. If I've got know another this. one that takes off quicker. You you had a you had an <clears throat> FPV camera on it, right? You had an analog FPV yep. camera, and yeah, there were some guys. Obstacle FPV job. There were some guys hanging out there all day long. And by the way, guys, if Ken has this event again, everybody's got to go because it was really it really was fun. A, it was a blast, absolute blast. There were some guys hanging out at the diner next door. And then there were some guys playing chess or something over by the car wash. I mean, it was just this kind of local hangout for the town. And I remember Ken uh, Dono put put FPV goggles on one of those guys. And he just about freaked out because Mel was flying the plane. And he was like kind of doing this thing. He had never seen it before. Older guy. It was awesome. In a good um, way. Yeah, freaked, I had. Freaked out uh, in a good way. Ken, Ken tuned into my, my, my camera on his goggles. And I gave... Uh, Oh, that gal that goes on Ken's show. Where did her name go? It just yeah, went... yeah, yeah. Um, so, someone help us with this. Um, I'm I'm blanking on it too. I can totally see her wearing the, the goggles. The redhead gal that comes on your show with you. I can't think of her. Her name. I was just gonna say it. It just went. It went away. It just gone. She but she anyway, was wearing the other set of goggles. She was wearing my fat sharks. Yeah, and uh, and I Ashley a Ashley Ashley. Yep. And I forgot to turn the DVR on in the goggles. Ah. So I, I didn't get any video of the flight. But I did get some video of her and her reaction to being able to see the airplane and the wings and everything and watching it fly around. It was it was pretty cool. That that was that was awesome. I that tried to get her for an interview. Really cool. Tried to get her for an interview for that, but she got tied up and busy and just it just never happened. But well, actually, one of the funniest things, um, anybody who was there will know this, and, and I loved uh, uh, Dono, uh, original Dobo, narrating it, but um, both Mel and I decided we were going to try and crash airplanes into each other. It was this little uh, P-58 Mustang, right? And P-51, yeah. P-51, sorry. Uh, and... And I will tell you that is harder to do than it looks. You would think you would think that you know if two two guys who want to crash two planes together wanted to, they could do it. But no, it takes it does doesn't work. Have, have you ever seen uh, any of the videos from the guys from Flight Test? Oh yeah, yeah. Those well, guys now awesome they own a golf, now they own a golf course up there, and they They're hosted Ohio, a fly in. Right? Yep, they hosted a fly in, and they had almost a hundred planes in the air. Wow. trying to crash into each other and none of them could do it. So I don't feel so bad. <laughs> yeah. You know, flight test, uh, I don't know if you know this, but flight test was started by um, the same Chad Capper, the same guy who started Rotor riot. Oh, okay. He, okay. he, he, he started flight test, uh, ran it for a while and then ended up selling it um, and, and then started Rotor riot. So he's, he's a, uh, He's into these the guys. Are kind of now. They do some incredible builds, and it's crazy. But anyway, oh, I remember one actually. actually. They they did um, they built a um, uh, one of those walkers from the Empire Strikes Back. You know the snow walkers, and they mm -hmm. actually had a little drone with a with a fishing line behind it. And remember in the movie how Luke flies around oh, and yeah. wraps up the legs. Yeah. So they tried to make it fall by doing that. That was that was oh, awesome. that's hilarious. So as far as um, as far as other things you've got going on, I know you're doing a giveaway right now. Let's let's tell everybody about that. We've got a few people watching. If somebody wanted to win a Mavic Mini, how would they do it? Well, I, I I'm I'm hosting that giveaway. There's a there's a uh, a contest video, I guess, if you will, 
on my channel and it tells you what you got to do. And for two months, you get to watch and see on my channel how many times I mention that I'm giving away the Mavic Mini. It could be on live streams. It could be in videos. It could be once in a video. It could be none. It could be 10 times in a video. You just got to pay attention. And he who gets the correct number and is the first one with an email in my email box on the 4th of April will be announced as the winner on my show the 4th of April that evening at 6 p.m. And you have to watch you have to watch the live stream to win too. You have to you have, write an answer, have. email it, and then watch the live stream, right? Yep, yeah. First first email with the correct answer and be present at the live stream when I announce the winner. And that could happen at the beginning of the show or the end of the show. But you have to be present to win. Yep. Yeah, and so this is this is, and I'm I'm sorry, Mel. I totally didn't put the uh, link in the description. I should have done that. I will do it right after. So if people come back to this, but this is a package. Um, it's the Flymore combo kit, and it is you have the original box and the original case and everything, right? All original packaging, everything, and it's nice. the the combo case, and it's somebody just joined your. Yeah, Dustin, Dustin, Gable. Dustin Gable just joined the uh, flight crew. Thank you, Dustin. That's awesome. I so really appreciate it. It's it's very, very low flight time. The guys that I bought it from didn't fly it very much. And I've only flown it two or three times. So the there you go. charges and flight time is very low. And it's in excellent condition. And it does a fantastic job. And I no, Joe, think, this does not count. Only on my show. I do think, yeah, yeah. He every time he says it on his channel. So anytime he talks about it, because yep. he's been on a few other shows where he talked about it, but those don't count. Um, and I think most folks who are in the chat right now already subscribe. But if you haven't subscribed to 400 AGL, go check it out. I remember when when I first saw Mel's channel. Um, this was before I got my Part 107. Actually, I didn't even know what 400 AGL was. So you want to tell us about the, ins and now I do, of course, but do you want to tell us about the inspiration of the name? Well, the inspiration of the channel name is because 400 AGL, 400 feet above ground level, is the legal height that you can fly a drone. Oh, and Sunrise Water Media put the contest into your uh, Mavic Mini giveaway. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate that. that Thank you, Chris. That's I the link to it. it. And I just also wanted to say, too, because um, I, was, I was watching the chat a minute ago, so um, Michael Wright, who is um, has been down to a couple of our meetups, he said he's been over to the Flight Fest a couple of times and was at the one where they set the world record for the most planes in the air, which which is pretty awesome. Uh, he said a minute ago, oh, it was maybe that's maybe that's what it was. One hundred seventy-five planes. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, they were trying to break. They were trying to break the most R break the record for the most RC planes in the air, 175, and it sounds like uh, sounds like Michael was there. That's that's uh, Tex Arc drone guy, and he is an architect. So you know, if you're going to build something, you should talk to Michael. Good guy. Yeah, cool. Um, so that that's the that's the gist of it for the giveaway. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I was just saying, people saying hi. Anyway, Dustin, thank you for joining the flight crew. Um, uh, earlier when I was talking to Mel, he told me that I looked like I was on Star Trek with this uh, big thing here. You know, the, he's the a, live he's a communicator on the shirt. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Uh, Kirk, Kirk to what did you say? Kirk to Enterprise. Beam me up. That sort of thing. Um, Damn it, I Jim, have... I'm just a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a magician, Jim. So I, I have a question for you, Mel. Uh, Picard, Kirk, or one of the others? Uh, you know what? They've all got their good points. Um, so if you want some really, really cheesy southwest New Mexico and northern Nevada uh, special effects, then, then the original with Kirk. Um, if you want some little bit better effects than Picard, and if you want a little bit better effects than uh, the woman, what was her name in the Janeway, Janeway, Captain 
Janeway, yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm a, I'm a diehard Trekkie all the way through. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll watch them. I'll, I'll watch any of them. I I, I actually have a sort of PG thirteen story that uh, well, two things. Number one, I actually got to meet um, I got to meet William Shatner one time. Uh, he did a oh. speaking tour in in <laughs> Dallas, and I went to see him speak in Dallas, and that and then they had a meet and greet afterward. And that was pretty cool. He was he was a very friendly guy. Um, do you know, uh, Mel, that he released? And so you know he was a singer too, right? So um, William Shatner did some really cheesy bad albums back in the day, like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds and all these really bad covers of songs. Do you remember this? I didn't didn't know that. Okay, so so here's your here's your assignment after this show. Go on YouTube and and type in just William Shatner music or whatever and listen to a few of them you know how he acts he talks like this he kind of pauses and says oh my goodness yeah. what are we going to do so he does songs Dramatic. in that style Dramatic. yeah yeah oh, Canadian. Really? so he ah. does several songs in that he does several songs in that style uh and they're really they're really um they're really quite oh dennis love lady in the house man i haven't seen you in a hey, while there. dennis good to see you and there's, um, there's kai <laughs> Kai's uh, there too. Hey, Kai, and I was saying to these guys, um, my appointment tomorrow got pushed back, so I can come to uh, at least a couple hours to the meetup tomorrow. So I'm excited. Um, but but then, do you know who um, do you know who Ben Folds is? No. So he had a band Maybe called the I Ben. Do, but I, I don't. He had a band called the Ben Folds Five, um, and they were probably big in the early to mid '90s. Anyway, he produced an album with William Shatner called Has Been, and it is fantastic. Every song all the way through it is is really, really good um, because he's playing with real, real musicians. He plays with Kenny Chesney. He plays with, uh, he plays with um, Henry Rollins from Black Flag, which is kind of an odd thing. Uh, he plays with, uh, with um, uh, Joe Jackson. I mean, it is... It is just a really, really great album, William Shatner. But my story, uh, I had a friend whose girlfriend was a big Trekkie, and he liked her because of that. You know, they they nerded out together. And she had action figures of all the captains, you know, like mm -hmm. like these these kind of tall ones. And and every yeah. time every time I would go over there, I would bend Picard over and put Kirk behind him and and say, Who's the real captain? And she would get so mad. <laughs> She hated that. I just can't even imagine you doing that. But I know, I know. I have my, I have my dark side. Um, so, so would, Mel, you never. You were, you were, you and I were talking earlier, also, um, just a little bit about the. Um, well, what were we talking about? It was, it was something to do with the uh, fact that you and I met here in Austin. But we share the common bond. I was never in the Air Force, but you were in the Air Force. My father was in the Air Force, and I was actually born right. on an Air Force base back in the day. Did you ever go to Lackland or was Kelly? It, was it Kelly Air Force Base you were born? Yeah, that was the one. Did Did you ever <laughs> go to, to to Lackland, Kelly, or Randolph, or any of those in San Antonio? Um, all three. Uh, oh, really? Kelly, uh, Lackland, I was. That's where I did my basic training. That's oh. where I learned what heat stroke is and woke up two days later in the hospital. Um, Goodness. Because it was like July or August when I went through basic training. Where, where yeah. are you from originally? Well, it, that's where were you born? kind of a, well, I was born in Peabody, Massachusetts. Oh, across you're Across the river from the house of Seven Gables. You're, you're a damn Yankee. Yeah, sure enough. Would have never guessed. Born and bred. <laughs> so, so you were born in Massachusetts. You've lived in Tennessee for a long time, as long as I've known you. Oh well, and, and Arkansas. Yeah. Uh, grew uh, first ten years between Massachusetts, Michigan, and South Dakota. The okay. family settled in Michigan for the most part. My parents left uh, Michigan in '69 and went to California, and that's where I grew up. Oh. Well, I guess I didn't so know I, that. What, I, what part of I California? Went, I went from California to Tennessee, San Diego County, Oceanside, okay. um, Escondido. Oh, beautiful yeah. down there. Oh, it's nice down there if you like 
it's even the time that I recall just driving from one town to another, you'd be in the country for a few minutes and now yeah. it's constant, constant concrete. De Dennis Lovelady Hundred said, I always figured Mel was born on Vulcan. <laughs> That's pretty Dennis, good. Dennis, I'm going to do this just for you. <laughs> so, uh, E-Drone is in the house. And uh, I just wanted to say his name is Eric. I was on his show um, a week and a half ago or so. Man, that guy can fly some FPV. If you want to go check out a cool um, cool channel with a lot of good FPV, E-Drone is uh, fantastic. Um, Ray Kelly is in the house. Ray Kelly has got his meetup coming up in March, I believe. I keep thinking it's in February, but it's actually in March, I believe, March 20th, um, down in Florida. So check out him if you want yeah. to go down there and meet up with some folks. Oh, and E-Drone sent me five bucks super chat for the snow shovel funds. Very much appreciated. It's <laughs> I don't know, Mel, has it been warm in Arkansas? Because it was 85 yesterday here. It was like 75 something yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Today wasn't terrible. It was a little cool. Uh, two days prior were like, yeah, shorts and t-shirts. It was crazy. Yeah. Today, today here was more normal for February. A couple people are jumping in and saying, uh, March 20th. So, um, so good, good to know. Um, and, and then, uh, you know, getting back to that whole Air Force thing, you said that you worked on uh, you worked on certain uh, aircraft, right? Yeah, I, I chose to be an aircraft mechanic, and I ended up becoming a crew chief on the C one thirty. C one thirty, which is a very large air, aircraft, right? Yeah, very large, but the smallest cargo plane that the Air Force has. Have Have you? Do you go to many? Um, do you go to many uh, air shows? Have you been to any of those? I haven't been to one lately, but I used to go to air shows quite a bit. There, there's yeah. one in Houston called Wings Over Houston that happens every October. And uh, my dad and I used to go to that. And then my we took my son a few times. We haven't been in, probably been in three or four years. But that's where um, they would they would park those planes and you could get in them and just kind of walk all the way through them. And you get a sense of how right. large it is. I mean, these things are bigger than a semi truck, way bigger than a semi truck. They're oh, they're yeah. <laughs> they're 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 yeah, big could, things. I don't think you could put two, but you could certainly put one semi truck in a C one thirty, no problem. So have you ever been in LA to the place where you can see the um uh uh spruce goose? Yes, Long Beach. Long Beach, that's right. That, that, yes. I, I, I went to see that. It's the Queen, Queen Mary is docked there, right? And then the Spruce Goose yep. is in this container. I was so blown away by how big that plane was. And the fact that it actually left the ground blew me away. It did. A new super chat, too, come in. Five yeah, pounds it from Plane Aviation. Happens to be from somebody named Plane Aviation, which is great, because we're talking about airplanes. <laughs> if, if uh, Yeah, and that looks like a twin... I can't tell. It's definitely a twin engine that looks like maybe a Lear or something. I can't tell. The image is too small. Oh, Plane yeah. Icon. In, in his picture, yeah. It does look like a Lear jet. Um, let us know what kind of plane that is, plane aviation, if you do know. Um, and so so uh, I had been on – I had been out to Long Beach. I had seen the, seen the um, Spruce Goose, which had a more formal name. Do you remember that was the the Spruce Goose was actually like a name that they the press called it that Howard Hughes didn't like. It was something he kind of yeah, hated. and and that it it just became its claim to fame. You know, the Spruce Goose. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the what what the actual name of the aircraft was, what it was called, but yeah, massive, massive aircraft. That everybody said couldn't fly, wouldn't fly. Yeah. And yeah. it just goes to show you that it doesn't matter what it is. Hurts to know. Dustin Dustin Gable, by the way, it, says well, he's it, well, it's a it's a it's a physical fact. It's a physical fact, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 uh I mean, you make something physics, move fast right? enough, it will fly. 
you're basically throwing whether or not you you can control it is a different story but yeah right right which which is is kind of how my drone flying is sometimes (laughs) just get it going and and see what happens and Uh, oddly enough if you make it spin make it spin it'll fly better yeah well because you get the that's why frisbees fly so well gyroscopic effect right you kind of get that uh gyroscopic effect and you get it kind of going over uh dustin dustin gable said he's ridden in a c-130 did you ever get to go up in them mel yeah they're loud and noisy oh yeah i flew all the time i flew quite a bit i would fly and help help the load master on training missions you know dumping stuff out the back and all that and a lot of what do you dump out the back i enjoyed it Oh, jeeps, pallets of supplies. Oh, okay. Anything. When you when you anything say dump, that can, you mean, anything you mean, that you can unload, open the ramp, open the ramp and door, and and let it go. No, I mean dump it from the air with parachutes. Oh, because it goes down on a parachute. Wow. So yeah. you can put a jeep. You can yeah, you, you can, can lower a jeep with a parachute. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh yeah. Your homework is C one thirty airdrops. I, I will watch that. That's awesome. <laughs> I'd, man. Yeah. I didn't realize you could do those. I mean, I knew you could drop supplies like crates and stuff like that, but my goodness. Yep. They can, uh, they can, they can do a, like they'll bolt a, well, they won't bolt it down, but they basically tie it down, tie a Jeep down to a special skid that rolls into the cargo bay and locks into the cargo bay. And then when you're ready to dump it, you, it's all coordinated like a like a parachute jump would be with the pilot and everything, and they'll no, get real you don't close to the ground. You don't want them falling. You don't want them falling too close together, right? You let one go, and then the next thing go, and the next thing, or they all go at the same if time. If you're doing if you're doing uh, supply drops, you can just let them roll out. Just let them go. They'll be separated far enough that it'll be good, and then they'll all hit pretty close to the same location. But there's a couple different ways you can do drops. You can do Altitude drops, you know, from five, ten thousand feet, and just let the parachute bring it down. Or you can come down fifteen feet off the ground at full speed, open the ramp and door, unlock everything, and the skipper pulls up pulls up with the nose of the aircraft and everything just rolls out and starts skidding on the ground. Are there are there people in these things? No. No, you don't okay. Drop okay. <laughs> but <laughs> But the aircraft does have two side doors or they're jump doors. And, uh, oh, cool. Joe Blaylock's wife was, uh, wife's uncle was a load master in the Air Force. Awesome. Uh, and people do jump out the side on, out of the jump doors. But there's, yeah, uh, there's something that, something that I'll never understand. Um, um, Dustin Gable says, uh, skids with supplies, trucks. I was attached to the 101st airborne. So I've jumped out of a few. Um, and then yep. actually Joe Blaylock said he had been in inside the spruce goose walked, walked in the wings. I guess I, oh. I remember I was a kid when I went to see it and I remember it being, uh, I remember it being really big. I don't remember getting to go in it, but I may have, I mean, I think I was like 12 or 14 years old when I saw it. Um, Never so been in it, never been to tour, nothing like that. Well, it's it's in this it's in this kind of dome. They built this dome around it, and like you said, Long Beach, California, and then you can go and see the Queen Queen Mary and and the Spruce Goose. But I I didn't care about the ship. I just wanted to see the plane. Um, yeah. And, and yeah. <clears throat> oh, so Lone Star UAV saying there's a video where they drop a Humvee out of the back, uh, and the chute did not open. Oh, that would be bad. Um, does anybody feel like calling in? Let me see if I can open up the fan line and see if we can get a get a caller or two to join us and say hello and ask some questions. Um, basically, the way it works, guys, is it's kind of like a dial-in show. You just call the number on your phone, mute your um, computer if you're watching on a computer because it'll double time, yeah. make 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 mute, double noise. Yeah. Mute the you mute the feed. But you know yeah. the one thing I never understood, Kelly. What's that? Once a month, we'd get the weekend warriors, you know, the, the army guys, the reserves that would come and practice maneuvers. So once a month, I had to rig my cargo bay for 90, 97 or 99 jump seats. Wow. The troops would climb in. 
we'd take them flying and they jump out of a perfectly good flying airplane. I never <laughs> understood that. Yeah, that's what they say. Any any landing you can walk away from. Because, uh, again, my dad was in, was in the Air Force. Um, oh, Doc Murdoch saying that the Spruce Goose is not in Long Beach anymore. Um, I wonder if anybody knows where that where it is. I mean, again, that was probably 35 years ago that I saw it. Um, yeah. It's, it's in a special yeah. hangar. And I don't, and I, I, I think it's, it might still be in Long Beach, but it's in a special hangar. You don't think it's uh, uh, available for tours anymore? Or do you think people can still go see it? I would think people would want oh, to see it's it. It's not. It's in, apparently it's in Evergreen Aviation Museum in McMinnville, Oregon. Wow. That's a, that's a move from, from California. I wonder if uh, they flew it up there. <laughs> Um, so Ray Kelly said, uh, just a little information about the meetup in Sebastian, Florida, Saturday, March 20th, uh, 30 attendees that are coming so far. That's, that's awesome, Ray. That's, uh, that's crazy. That's, cool. That's really good. Um, so I, I wish it was 31. Re- reach out to Ray Kelly, uh, and go to his channel. Um, I think it's like Ray Kelly's adventures. And if you, if you want to find out more, you can probably contact him from there. I don't know if the fan line thing is working. Let me try it one more time. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to open it one more time and see if it, if it goes. Cause it just, yeah, it, it says it it's showed waiting. up on the feed. Oh, it did. The okay. number showed up on the feed. You want me to try it? You want me to test dial it? No, let's, let's see if somebody else will dial in. All right. What's all that beeping we got going on? I'm here. It oh, sounds like just, a yeah, are it's you, just are you, crazy phone. I guess. I was going to try and dial in. To I was going to ask if you were playing, uh, playing uh, the slot machine or something online. No, 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 no. I don't do that kind of stuff. Gambling. No. <laughs> so, so Doc Doc Murdoch is going to the um, the meetup in Florida, and and is here in Texas right now. I just talked to him. He called right before our show and and said he's going to be down at the meetup tomorrow. So I'm I'm really glad there was a there was a little bit where I didn't little bit of time where I didn't know if I'd be able to come just because we've got some repairs going on around the house tomorrow. But as long as I'm back in the afternoon, I'm good. Um, all right. We got a, we got a caller coming in. Let's see who it is. Uh Oh, what do we got? Hey caller, you're on the air. Who is it? Oh, really? <laughs> How you doing Kelly? Oh, it's Doc Murdoch. I can tell by his voice. Uh, no, this is Joe Blaylock. Oh, it's Joe Blaylock. Oh, I knew yeah. it was some, somebody. Uh, you're, you're in Pennsylvania, right? No, no, I'm in Washington. Uh, Washington, State. Washington. My God, I'm getting it all wrong tonight. How are you doing? Yeah. Doing good. Doing good. Just flying my mini back down again. Is it still light there? Yep, yep. Yeah, it's, just, it's only 545 there. there. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. How you doing, Joe? Oh, I'm doing well, Mel. How you doing? Oh, getting older by the minute. Loving every second of it. Did you get hit with any yeah, crazy I... weather last week, Joe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got about a foot of snow. It's all gone now, though. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, it was weird how much... I mean, Texas never gets snow, and there was there was a lot on the ground... I was out of town, and I really wish I could have been here to fly a drone over it. There were some really good drone shots of, of Texas on the news, but I feel like I could have done better. I mean, that would have been my job, but I was I was not here to do that. But yeah, you, were, you were snowboarding instead. I was. I was for a couple of days. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was funny because I had to go up there for work and ended up uh, – my, my kids came up. We had enough points to fly them up. We were going to go for two days. And then it ended up being a lot more than that. But I was really glad because my son, um, on day one and day two, he was still really learning. But by day three, he had gotten pretty good. And on day four, he was he was beating me down the hill. So it was I was glad we had those extra two days so he could get to that point. Why doesn't that surprise me? <laughs> hey, man, that's that's uh that's kind of how the circle of life goes. You want your kids to be better at you, better than you. At most stuff, not everything, just most stuff. You know that you know the difference between us and the kids, though. Uh, we're we, not always we've landed. 
we've landed enough times that we know that it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Joe, did you say you said you were flying your Mavic Mini or Mini Two? Yeah, I just got I just landed a Mini Two. Yeah. How do you like so it? I was, uh, oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, it. It's done a few little weird things on me, like uh, it needs a lot of satellites. I couldn't believe how many it says it needs in order like to 20, fly. Twenty or so? Yeah, it's like twenty or thirty. It's showing, you know, which is crazy. Uh, you know, normally I had the Mavic Air before. Like 12? Uh, yeah, you could have like 12 satellites, 9 to 12 satellites, and you could fly. But, uh, this Mini needs to have like at least 20, or you can't uh, you can't even get past 90 feet. Kind of a interesting way that they do it. I guess it's using three different types of satellite, though, I under, from what I understand. So. Well, it's the, it's the Russian one, right? The Not Glasnost, but what is, um, I forget what the term is but it's got noss in it and then the u.s one what's the third one do you know what that is i'm not i'm not sure what the third one is i was just uh hearing about it i'd have to look it up again but i don't think i've ever gotten the... more than like 21 or 22 satellites on on a drone or at least i uh, paid attention enough to notice that but yeah it seems like around 15 is usually the sweet spot when you can pretty much always take off but you're saying it won't take off without yeah, more than it seems like 15 to 19 oh, it'll... Yeah. It'll take off. It just won't let you go past 90-some feet um, and about 160 feet away from you. So that was, Oh, so it limits It limits that. Uh, ben, ben T. said GLONASS. That's that's what it is. Gl GLONASS. I don't know how you say yeah, that. Glon yeah. Uh, is, it, is it set for with the – is there a setting in the app on that that limits oh, your like altitude the be and distance? Like beginner mode maybe? Yeah, it's like beginner mode. Yeah. Yeah. So that's you've anyway, got that turned really, off really, though, right? I mean, it didn't get it didn't get absolute. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Accidentally oh, reached yeah, that. Definitely. When it gets up, when it gets up to about twenty satellites, then I can then I can zoom away. But I was like um, uh, flying when it was snowing, and um, I uh, brought it in a couple of times because I couldn't I couldn't get it to go up. It wouldn't go up past that ninety feet. Finally. Uh, finally, I was able later on the day, I guess the, the cloud cover must have been blocking uh, how many satellites you could get or something. Because uh, we had we had a pretty heavy snowstorm coming through and I was trying to fly in it. And uh, 90 feet is all I could get and about 160 feet away. Um, but finally, uh, later on in the day, I was able to get a good flight and fly in the, what was left of the snowstorm. And it looked really nice. So Cool. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. you you probably post it on your channel so people could go check out Joe's oh, channel. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's on there. I got three videos on it. Yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah, I, I like your videos. So. Your your style is very very it's always very pretty and and uh good good cut with the music and stuff like that. It it you know, it's a nice little yeah. mental mental break watching. I I've, I've found a lot of times now actually um that you know, I used to just watch informative drone videos and camera videos and stuff like that. But now like midday, if I need a little break, I'll just go find one of those videos. It's just like real pretty footage with some good music. Um, like, like Ray Kelly does some nice ones like that. And, and a lot of yeah. guys in the chat here do. So it's, it's kind of a nice yeah, way like, to just have a mental break. Yeah. I like, I like watching Jake Sloan and, and learning about that photography stuff. And oh, man, you know, that's, I, that, that, he's, that's he's good for me. That's my goal, actually. Yeah. I've never been to Alaska. I want to go up and visit Jake Sloan and fly with him. I think that would be such a blast. That's that's where we should have spin up. Is it's in Alaska? We'll see who's oh, serious. Awesome. <laughs> we'll have it in awesome. December too. Then then you got to be really serious. <laughs> well, yeah, I hey, like to you, you can before. count me out of that. And one. I do a vlog. <laughs> yeah. So that's what started my channel. Was I would travel for work and I would vlog where I was going and. I got a couple from Alaska, but every time I've been up there, it was so windy and oh, so yeah. cold. I couldn't fly. It was just, it was out of control. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's one of those places where, um, it's one of those places where there would be a lot of great places to go, but you got to hit the weather, right? You know, you got to get kind of yeah. lucky on that. Well, yep. Joe, man, thank you for calling in. I really appreciate it. It's, it's, uh, yeah, good, awesome just to get the chat with folks. So, Kelly. We got somebody yeah. else on. I will. Uh, I will let All you right. go and look, see who else is there. All right. Take care. All right. Bye. All right. 
let's see who this is. This is the coolest feature of this software is, is the dial in stuff, honestly. Doesn't it remind you, Mel, of like the old timey uh, dial in yeah, shows? The old time radio shows, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Somebody was there and they disappeared. Oh, well. Well, uh, Mel, remind everybody one more time if they wanted to join. Oh, and thank you to um, Brad for throwing Joe's channel up. Uh, that's that's awesome. If they want to um, yeah. win, win the Mavic Mini from you, they can just come over, uh, check out the video. And earlier, uh, Sunrise Water Media put it into the um, into the chat so you could scroll back if you want to find it. But seriously, somebody's going to win this thing. All you got to do is count, watch some videos and count, and you could win – not only a Mavic Mini, but a Mavic Mini um, Fly More combo. Fly More, is, Fly More combo. Yep. With yep. with low hours, original case, original box, all that sort of thing. Hey, I see Eddie in the chat there. Eddie Nunez, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Bob Casey's there. Man, this is hello, this Bob. Is I just I just plugged a, a video for another one of our viewers and subscribers, Lost Girl Hikes. Oh yeah, yeah, you she wanna... was in there earlier. Angela does some pretty creative stuff, and that one there is one of them. You ought to go look at that. Is that the was that the ice one of the of the river or the lake that was frozen? Um, yeah, the name uh, the name I forgot the name of it already. I already closed the I already closed the link out, but it's diamonds in the sky or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was very interesting. I like the way she does those edits. Thanks, nice. Dennis. Yeah, Dennis. And Dollar Supers. Superman Brian. Hey, and by That's the way, right. guys, if you guys don't already know about this, this is kind of a hidden gem. But if you're up early on Sunday morning, go check out uh, Dennis and Chris and um, and Roosevelt Rodney, Rodney and Bell. Rodney Bell. Those guys all do a, a, a sunrise video across the entire country, like starting on the East Coast all the way all the way across to the West Coast. I guess I should go that direction. Yep. Uh, well, anyway, I, I've been up a few mornings and, and it's pretty cool because, uh, it, you know, you actually get to see the sunrise in like five different places, which is pretty awesome. And so Dennis is one of yeah. those. Yeah. And yeah. Dennis Lovelady, I have to say too, that guy, he played the Ready, Set, Drone song on the ukulele. And that was one of my, it was definitely a version <laughs> of that song I really liked. Have you ever, have you ever heard that one, Mel? His version on the ukulele? Yep, yep. Yeah, was, I've played was, them all. I've it was really cool. All. Well, yeah. Mel, I, I really appreciate you hopping in tonight. Uh, we're coming up on an hour, so I think we're going to wrap it up. And I appreciate everybody joining. Mel, you, you know, again, 400 AGL. Go over there. Hit subscribe. Join his contest if you want. But at the very least, go watch some of his videos because Mel's got some cool stuff. The one I'd recommend the most is our, our collaboration that we did with the uh, airplane. That was fun. Yeah, that and... Uh... Um, go check out the one where, where Kelly was doing the, uh, active track because oh, then yeah, you get, yeah. to see, get to see the flying Eagle Hilton too. That's right. We were flying it over your truck. That was, yeah. that was pretty Yeah, we fun. did a lot of, did a lot of flying that day. It was a lot of fun. Well, and, Kelly, and, thank you for having me. Thank you for inviting me. And for everyone, everyone, uh, just real quick, cause I always get asked, um, spin up is happening. It's going to be sometime between September and December. Don't have a date or a location yet. I, I'm I'm really hoping that you know it feels like it feels like at least vaccine wise and you know COVID and all that stuff we're getting back to a little bit more normal and I, I want it to be an in person event and I want more people to be able to come so I will be definitely making that announcement you know before the summer so we'll all know. I, I think West Tennessee is a good place. <laughs> you know, maybe I could team up with Ken Heron and we could do it in uh, do it in Brownsville at Minefield. That would actually be pretty cool. That's actually too small. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I don't I don't know if that town could handle handle that many drone pilots in one place. But um, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you all for coming in tonight, Mel. Thanks again for joining and for uh, for having me on your show last week. Go check out Mel's channel My and pleasure. definitely, definitely. Um, uh, you know, I don't think you said you haven't gotten any right answers in your contest yet, and so there's a good chance if you're going to join, I mean, people have been getting in there, well, but nobody's got it right yet. Still, What's still, still going, going on? on? So, yeah. Yeah. I guess, I guess that's right. So if people are, if people are tracking that, um, the thing to do is start tracking it now so that you can be the first one on April 3rd, right? Fourth, yep. um, to be able to, to, to give the right answer. 
Yeah, so so here's here's basically how it works is April 1st, uh, I'm sorry, February 1st to April 1st will be videos, live streams on my channel only, mentions of giving away the Mavic Mini Fly More Combo. You count all the times in that time period that I mention it, either in a video or live, be the first person with the correct. Uh-oh. Did we leave Fourth is when I'm going to check the email and get it, go through the list and see who's got the right answer. So midnight April 3rd is the actual cutoff for the emails, and midnight April 1st will be the cutoff for the videos. And, and Mel, would you say it's safe to say you said it less than 100 times? Is that, is that, a, is that a fair statement? You, you'll say it less than 100 times? At this point, it's less than 100 times, yes. Okay, so if you can count to 100, you can join the contest. If, if, if going over 100 messes you up, then don't bother. <laughs> yeah, and we're, but we're still in February, too. So. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, if you can count to Hey, Jake, Jake Sloan just joined. Well, can hello, see? Jake. We were just talking about Alaska and my, my desire to uh, come, come up there and fly the wilds and the icebergs with you. Um, maybe yeah. maybe next, next summer, 2022 or something like that. That would be yeah, awesome. We were talking about him talking about him his ears were ringing he came in the show <laughs> yes yes well we're just wrapping up but jake sloan thanks for joining bob casey thanks for joining dennis lovelady thanks for all the super chats dustin thanks for joining the flight crew if you guys want uh want to join just hit the join button and you'll learn all about that mel's in the flight crew has been for years i appreciate that joe blaylock thanks for calling join. in i have a join button now oh mel's got a join button what do you call yeah. your group? What do you call your group? The 400, 400 guys or 400 guys and gals? All right. All right. Well, join. In fact, if you, if you join the maximum, you get a custom made set of coasters of Sweet. the 400 AGL logo. Those are Hashtag pretty cool. Fly legal, fly smart, fly safe. Yeah. And I make these on my 3D printer. They look really and they'll cool. they come with a little track. And I'm, you know what I'm actually thinking about doing with them? I'm Making thinking a about clock. Create, nope, creating what? a certificate of authenticity and numbering the base oh. so that each one has an official certificate of authenticity. <laughs> and you'll only make 100. You'll only make 100, and then they'll be worth more or something like that. I think you should make a clock. I think you should, I think you should put some clock hands on it and have them go around. Well, I, I, I don't know about doing all that, but we could do that. But I definitely use one as a coaster right here on my desk, and it works with the coffee cup just fine. There I'm not go. had no problems. <laughs> All right, Mel. Well, guys, uh, again, thanks to everyone who joined tonight. Thanks, Mel, for being on. Uh, if you're going to the meetup in New Braunfels tomorrow, I will see you there. Um, I can't stay for the whole time, but I will stay for most of it. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. And, Mel, any final words? Thank you very much for inviting me and having me. And thanks to everybody in chat. Thanks for all the super chats. That'll help Kelly's channel out a lot. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh, and I, I actually have to throw in one more thing. Next first Friday, which is the first Friday of March, that is going to be a huge show. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming up. A lot of stuff that I've been waiting to talk about for a long time coming up on that show. So please be sure to join first Friday, next Friday, the 5th. It's going to be big. That's, See you guys. One not to miss. That is one not to miss.